the warmest greetings the warmest greetings to all who hear me i am Oleg kushnir professor and head of department of of electronics and information technologies uh, at the ivan franco national university of Lviv. Um, i'll share my screen so that so that i well well now it is visible so i i began to i'm presenting a collective of orders listed listed here and uh, and I, I would like to to present to present our paper entitled uh, repetition characteristic for single texts um, a couple of introductory words or introductory information it is well known that uh, the statistical and quantitative linguistics um, the method the appropriate method methods uh, they provide many valuable information for the information retrieval and more specifically to the uh, field of to the field of natural language processing uh, it is also well known that that it is too little to to know the true the true frequencies of different um, different elements different linguistic elements such as words uh, letters and so on uh, it is too little because because it would be it would be very useful to know to know an order of words or an order of letters in a text and in this respect repetitions repetitions in text uh, can provide uh, indeed uh, valuable information in 2007 Felix Golher uh, has, uh, has suggested has introduced his uh, repetition characteristic uh, this this characteristic v of t is defined uh, in a very simple manner it is simply um, the, the size of vocabulary o and grams which has been repeated in a text at least once and which and which represent uh, so-called um, completed repetitions so we have the vocabulary of repetitions uh, which uh, have occurred up to the up to a current position in a t in a text divided by this current position t it is it is very uh, simple definition and up to date up to date uh, a number of of facts have been already uh, have been already known about this characteristics we of t what is known up to date uh, it is known that the we is we of t function um, for for so-called natural text um, has um, has a feature which can be termed as a saturation uh, in a, in simple words i will i will demonstrate this is a property when the v, v of t function uh, becomes becomes an, something of equilibrium. Uh, then uh, um, oh wow 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 uh, excuse me excuse me the very first the very first introductory page uh, moreover this equilibrium is of the order of one half for the most of natural texts then it is also known that we sabo depends on the language and on the writing system uh, moreover and it is a crucial point that the we all limit doesn't it exist or any artificial or random texts. Mm, artificial, it may be um, a, a program code, or a random text, uh, it may be a so-called Miller's market text. So what, 
what is still unknown what can be what can be uh, this studied further on uh, the first point is single text rather than corpora uh, the reason is that corpora which have been uh, studied studied um, up to date they are <sighs> sorry sorry what uh, uh, one moment well now now i continue i continue it is known that um, <clears throat> that up to date only corpora have been studied but these corpora are in homogeneous objects uh, so uh, where we merge two different individual texts there is some uh, discontinuity so our main aim will be single text not corpora the second point the second interesting point is uh, is how to link the we the we of t characteristic with something else with something another with with some another characteristics of text it may be it may be information entropy it may be also the parameters of semantic load of a text and some other parameters. The other question is modified definitions of V of T. Can they be of some practical use? Uh, and a particular form of the of the last question is can the V, v of T characteristic the detect artificial repetitions in text so i go so i proceed um, we have studied we have studied many texts uh, human language text and artificial uh, random text so-called miller's monkey text the natural text were 50 text in english and um, a single text in each in each all 34 languages or very different uh, language families concerning the monkey texts um, a classical monkey text is a text in which each letter uh, is, uh, is chosen at random uh, and at the same time the frequency of each letter is equal to to the frequency of another letter letter in this respect in this respect we uh, we proceed something further on we introduced the so-called generalized Miller's monkey text uh, generalized text uh, is also a random text but but the frequencies of different letters can be different uh, it is governed by uh, gradient B and B the maximum frequency divided by the minimum frequency uh, for each size of the alphabet M 2 5 10 and 20 we have studied a number of cases a number of different um, gradient B's uh, now uh, considering the calculations of the repetition characteristic V of T to familiarize, uh, familiarize you with with some with this characteristic, I uh, I mention a simple text, only 14, 14 symbols. Isn't it funny? Uh, here the repeated com the completed repetitions are as follows: I, T, space and N. So the graph, the plot looks as the as this. Uh, now concerning a practical problem, it is very difficult indeed to calculate to calculate the repetition characteristic uh, because because you you must you must follow each each engram in a text each engram of arbitrary length and the number of those engrams um, it increases according to power in, uh, to, uh, according to power law of the text length itself and 
and this demands a huge indeed a huge um, amount of memory and and computational facilities uh, fortunately enough uh, there is a known suffix tree algorithm uh, it enables one to calculate a V of T characteristic uh, simply linear in time. Now, now could, uh, according to our generalizations of the V of T characteristics, um, there are, um, according to our methods, there are three different three different ways. Uh, the first way is. Uh, is to pass from the level of characters to the level of words. It's trivial. Uh, the second point is to score is to score by n points each repeated engram instead of a single point, as uh, as it is in a in a usual in a common version of the algorithm. And the third and the third point is to is to score each repetition uh, in the usual uh, algorithm. Uh, only the first repetition of a gram is scored. Uh, in this case, we deal with um, with the type of engrams, engram type. Uh, when we score each repetition, we in fact uh, do with a with sheet token of engram. Now, concerning the parameters, the parameters uh, we can possibly link uh, our V of T uh, characteristic. The first is the Shannon entropy, defined as as usual. Um, here, P is uh, the probability of a character. Uh, so we deal here with a, a single character entropy, and the second is two parameters of semantic load. What is this? Uh, each word, each word I, can be, um, can be characterized by uh, the parameter R, uh, R sub I. Uh, here, uh, delta tau is the um, mean square deviation of the waiting times, each occurrence of all this word, and uh, and the mean and the mean is is here so so uh, for the most of words which are stop words we have a uh, sub i nearly unity and for keywords we have much larger value so uh, if we introduce the parameter r which is the average over all the words all the words um, occurring in the text uh, we have we have are slightly larger than unity for the meaningful texts for the meaningful text for example for natural texts and we have the and we have somewhere near near unity for meaningless uh, random character sequences it is very interesting uh, because because we can, we could, we could try to to distinguish uh, natural language, uh, natural uh, natural language texts on the one hand, and uh, meaningless um, random symbolic sequences on the other hand. Now the the main results, the main results obtained in the current work. Monkey texts, monkey texts. The three main facts um, can be considered. The first fact, fact is trivial. Uh, if we if we increase the the size of the alphabet M, we have decreasing decreasing Y O parameter. Uh, this is M equal to. Uh, then um, C uh, five, then ten, and then twenty. The alphabet is increasing, and one can see uh, one can see the figures, the figures. O sub eight, O sub five, O sub four, O sub three. 
In other words, we have we have a plot. We have a plot which can be easily fitted with the inverse power rule. With the inverse power law, the saturated repetition parameter V sub O and the size of alphabet. Now the second fact: when the size of the alphabet increases, increases, we deal, we observe more and more intense fluctuations, oscillations. There are there are no oscillations here, and here we observe. We observe not so little, not so little um, oscillations. Uh, and the third and the most important fact of the V of T characteristic for the monkey text is as follows. Uh, if we increase the B parameter, the gradient, then for, for, a, given, for a given vocabulary size, we can we can decrease the amplitude of oscillations in other words in other words if b is large enough the oscillations the oscillations uh, disappear now natural texts first a few examples for natural text in english in english uh, the most important the most important conclusion is as follows uh, for each of these natural texts, we, uh, we easily arrive at a saturated value, we all, and the most interesting, um, the variation among different texts in the we all parameter is uh, nearly 12%, 12%. Uh, <clears throat> well, I proceed. Uh, natural text in different languages. Here we fix a variable, uh, a variable uh, associated with writing system. And uh, two examples, uh, it is uh, Ukrainian text, A, and in panel B, uh, the text uh, in the language of old Rus. It is interesting it is interesting uh, well mm, i proceed to a table to a table it is interesting that that for different languages we have some 25 percent of variations in the we all parameter and if we discard a single arabic text then we arrive at 15 percent 15 persons the relative variations between the um we all parameters for different languages and maybe you maybe you remind that the same value for the for the same language for single english language is a strong percent in other words in other words this uh, variation is not too large than that found for different texts in english in some other and still other terms one cannot one cannot mm, introduce a notion of a we all parameter for a given language. It is simply incorrect. At the same time, it is just what it has been uh, done uh, in, the, uh, in the literature. And now one can see that this, that this attempt is incorrect. Well, uh, I, um, I show uh, so these graphs. Uh, this is a correlation of the VO parameter and the parameter of semantic load. One can see that, that the Pearson coefficients are very low, are very low. So that one can surely state there is no correlation between, uh, between the repetitiveness on the one hand, and the semantic load of a text on the other hand. There is no correlation. And the same and the same uh, can be said, can be said of the, um, of the correlation of VO and on the one hand, and the um, single character entropy. The figures are similar. So, so it would be of course very tempting to, to relate the repetitions to, 
to single character entropy or to um, some semantic load. But this, these attempts are incorrect. Now, uh, concerning different regimes of calculations of the VA, VFT characteristic. <clears throat> the main conclusion is, is, the follow, is as follows. This is as follows. Uh, the VFT characteristic has has a situation has a situation in figures A, uh, C, E, and G. These all are regimes, are calculation regimes, which correspond to n-gram tokens. Uh, sorry, with n-gram uh, types. On the other hand, when we deal with n-gram uh, tokens, all of the plots uh, have no limit. This is uh, the panel B, panel D, F, and H. It is also very interesting that, um, that, this, that this situation doesn't depend on the, um, on the other choice, on the choice uh, whether we score each repetition by a single point or whether we score it with, uh, with N points. This does not, does not affect uh, the situation. And maybe it is interesting that, that the figures, figures C and G uh, and points and, and gram types, uh, they all have the limit of, the limit of a unit limit. limit. So uh, these situations are somewhat trivial. Well, uh, how can we use how can we use these different regimes for any practical purposes? Uh, I give the answer here. One can see uh, a single book, the Jungle Book by Kipling, and uh, and somewhere. Uh, as the arrows, as the arrow shows, we we introduce a self-plagiarized mm, fragment. It is only, it is very little. In other words, uh, we introduce, we introduce here, 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 and so on, um, a very short textual fragment, um, seventy words only. 70 words all the text all the text uh, has uh, nearly 40 40 thousand words and here only 70 words and which are the results here here uh, here and and here the result is, is is almost invisible but in some of the regimes one can see a drastic change, a drastic change in the V of T characteristic. To, to explain the situation better, I, I proceed to, to the corresponding table. One can see that the, the largest, the largest uh, relative jump, delta V, um, is spectacular for the, for the following regime characters, one point per each repetition, and n-gram tokens. You can see the figures. Uh, a similar result is, uh, is typical for the, for the regime words. Maybe it is, it is interesting and, uh, and even unexpected citation. Really, really, one would hope that the, that the regime words will be some, somewhat better, but it is somewhat worse than the uh, regime characters. Uh, then uh, another unexpected and even paradoxical result is, is, is as follows. Um, the, <clears throat> the regime, when we, when, we, when we score each repetition, uh, each long repetition, repetition by endpoint is, is worse. That is, the relative, the relative jump is less than the relative jump in the regime one point per each repetition. It is, it is indeed, uh, indeed uh, it is um, unexpected. So, in general, one can state, one can 
state that the sensitivity of our technique is is huge is gigantic um, once more the length the length of the repeated self plagiarism fragment is only oh sub five percent 70 word longs long and the text is 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 large is large enough moreover if we take somewhat larger somewhat longer self plagiarism fragment five percent then the absolute jumps that the we will be will be will be simply huge almost 200 please uh, see um, the the max the maximum value is three and if we if we take uh, five percent then this jump will be tw uh, 200 in other words uh, this parameter sees only self -plagi plagiarism and nothing else nothing else is visible <coughs> And conclusions conclusions the main conclusions are my conclusions are as follows first we in this work we have focused on uh, single texts um, rather than corpora and uh, and started the the so-called um, repetition characteristic by Golher um, for single texts uh, second and third we have not found any correlation and a link between a single character entropy of a text or between a uh, semantic load of a text on the one hand and the and the value we owe the value which which is uh, nothing but uh, but a saturated uh, repetition uh, characteristic value there is no link between these parameters Moreover, uh, <clears throat> we have found that interlanguage variations are very large, are indeed comparable, uh, compatible with interlanguage variations. So that if one tries, if one tries to um, to deliver a true theory of the V of T characteristic, one must one must rely on this property. And the last, we have we have introduced a number of modified modified uh, regimes of V of T characteristics, and we um, and we have seen that that one of these regimes, this is the regime of of scoring of scoring each repetition instead of instead of only the first repetition. This regime. Uh, reveals a huge, a huge sensitivity for any self-plagiarism, any repetition, for any uh, repetition in a text. And concerning the final work, uh, I'd like to, I would like to stress that that the first point is a necessity of a solid mathematical ground. But of course, of course, to <laughs> to give this ground we, we we must deal with the simplest with the simplest text and uh, in this respect uh, random monkey text are, are very are very good candidates these are the null hypothesis hypothesis for the um, for the human language and the second and the second um, one could see many many bumps many local irregularities of the v of t characteristic and so uh, and so um, it would be it would be it would be wise to to use a standard algorithm of sliding window to smooth this irregularity and to study only the only the um, only the general peculiarities of this characteristic and now my my speech is over I thank you very much for your attention. And, uh, and as stated here, I really, I really hope that in the nearest future we'll we'll forget what is this coronavirus and we'll 
will have many meetings, true meetings rather than virtual. Thank you very much again.